Hey, I'm Mishka and we are back in the Biwa kitchen. And today we are making artisan Finn-based pizza. So in light of junk food day coming up, I know health brand, junk food, but why not combine the two? And I mean, the one, the go-to for me in takeaway is generally gonna be out of a basket. I don't know what it is for a few other people as well. If it's not a burger, it's gonna be your Chinese takeout or the sushi, or it's gonna definitely be pizza. So why not make our own at home? And I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so the first step I'm gonna do, because it needs to cook and then cool down, is gonna be the tomato sauce. So to begin, we're gonna need two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna add in two cloves of my ready chopped garlic. The next, I'm going to be adding in a whole can of our tomato sauce. To the tomato sauce, I'm gonna be adding in one small tube of our tomato paste. In goes three quarter teaspoon of our salt. I'm gonna be adding in a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of our onion powder. Okay, we have one teaspoon of our basil. Okay, so we have half a tablespoon to a tablespoon, depending on your taste of sugar. And then we're just gonna have a little bit of extra love with some red chili. Okay, so while my sauce is simmering away, I'm gonna be moving on to the base. Okay, so all you need is you need one sachet or two and a half teaspoons of dry yeast and then i have half a teaspoon of sugar that i'm just going to sprinkle with my yeast and i have one cup of warm water and we're going to just stir this in and allow this chemical reaction to take place okay so now i'm just going to cover my yeast in mixture up and i'm going to put it aside and let this rest for at least in minutes so once it starts it starts to bubble and stuff and that's when I know the yeast is activated and it's ready for us to use. So we're just gonna allow our bowl to rest. I'm gonna put it aside. We're gonna let this rest for at least 30 minutes and just let it expand a bit more before it is ready for us to roll out and use. So now I'm just gonna take a fork and make little bits of indents just so that there's a little bit of air circulation so this base can get nice and crispy as well. Okay, cool. So my pizza bases are done. They have the tomato sauce on. And now this is the fun part and it's gonna be up to you whatever you're gonna be putting on. I'm gonna be slamming in a bunch of different toppings, the ones that I love. This is the part you're gonna have fun with. 